their Twitch staff, support, moderators, and everyone in between that has been getting, uh, I suppose, flooded on Twitter by people who are trying to get you to notice these hate raids. My name is Shalako Diamond. I am 33 years old. I have spastic diplegic cerebral palsy, hydrocephalus, epilepsy, and I am a bisexual male. I have a few questions that need to be answered, and I hope that you watch this video and are prepared to answer them. One, why is this still happening? to anyone with an LGBT, LGBT PQIA plus tag on their Twitch being harassed by these Muppets. These absolute Muppets. Now I'm not saying it's your fault that they're here. I'm not even implying that it's your fault that they're still here. What I'm asking is when is enough enough? When do we get rid of the vitriolic bullshit? And I understand what some people may think, and, it, and they're right. It is way easier said than done. I understand that. But when is it time for us to take a stand and deal with it? Because there are many people out here that, like me, will share the LGBTPQIA tag on their Twitch. Will share their sexuality or orientations on Twitch, be it bi, gay, trans, straight, man, woman, other, non by How many people have to be attacked before something is done? Before you start finding those same usernames all over the Twitchverse? If it's just one more, then get on it now. If it's a hundred more, you better start getting on it now. <sighs> TOS means a lot. But people's health and safety means a lot more, doesn't it? And if they can come through and break TOS and you turn a blind eye to that, what else is there? 
What other options will people have? Go to caffeine, maybe? Go back to YouTube? Maybe stream on Facebook? Because at least then you have some chance of finding their name. I love Twitch. I've loved my journey on Twitch for the past year. I love all of these people who have told me to continue doing what I'm doing. I love all of these people that have shown me that same love, that same energy that I give out. But I don't know if I can love a platform that uh, doesn't love me back. And I'm not talking about them. I know that they love me because we've interacted in chats before. I'm not talking about them. I know that they love me. Otherwise, I wouldn't put them on my follow list. But when's enough enough? Tell me that. People who know me know that if I get angry, there's no stopping what I will do in order to get revenge. And I will not stop until they do. So, much like I told Josh Wallace and Neil, either you stop it, well, I will risk my entire career to do it myself. Thank you. Signed, Cobra Jankai.